the fairy tale contains a lot more than meets the eye. A great deal of wisdom has been passed down to us through fairy tales. Now, for next week's assignment, I'd like you to read a story and write down what you think it has to do with your own life. You can choose any tale you like just as long as it's in your book. And remember, there's going to be a quiz on Monday, so you'll want to go back over the materials that we've already read. Have a nice weekend. Where are you guys going? I don't know. Steve, I gotta take this book to the library. I'll meet you at the bridge. Okay, I'll see you there. go to a dentist appointment. If I'm late, I'm gonna get creamed. Can I please borrow your bike? No, I don't think so. I'll just be back in an hour. Read my lips. No. Hey, Billy. Hey, look, I was wondering if I could borrow your bike. Uh, well, you see, I gotta, I gotta meet someone. I'll be back in just an hour. Okay? Uh, Thanks yeah, a lot. But... wasn't a movie, that was English class. The English teacher that rose from the grave. <laughs> you guys are sick. Hi, Steve. How's it going? I give up. How's it going? <laughs> um, it's okay. Well, you know that zombie movie? It was um, on TV last night. It was really good. I like that 3D movie, you know, where everything was flying at you. Uh, I saw that. And... I didn't see it. You don't need horror movies. You got a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Chopping up for Howie. Oh, let me have one. You mean another one? Come on, I'll trade you for a light. Oh, what a deal. Oh, shark frenzy. I suppose you want one, too. Uh, thanks. Hurry up, you want me to burn my fingers? Ow! Sorry. Where'd you learn how to hold a cigarette? I think he's trying to shoot pool or something. <laughs> oh, now doing an impression of a 57 Chevy backfiring. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really 4.30? I give up. Is it? I forgot. I have, I have a doctor's appointment or something, and I, I got to get going. Oh, oh, yeah. See you guys around. Mm -hmm. uh, Bye. Thanks for the cigarette. Yeah, thanks for the impression. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what are we going to do without him? you're talking to me? I'm not a can. I'm a wizard. Uh, in a can. Oh, sure, right. Do you think you might do me one small favor and help me out of here? How do I know you won't hurt me? Well, uh, wizard's honor. This is really weird. No, 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 not like that. Just rub it three times and stand back. Hey, what's this? Where'd you go? Where'd you? Oh, there you are. Well, uh, thank you. So these, it's these popped up confounded lids. Do you always hide behind trees? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And you're really strange. 
stranger than most, perhaps, but rather ordinary as wizards go. Now, come, come. I applaud your caution. But when it comes to wizards, I'm afraid you'll find hiding behind trees won't do you any good anyway. I'm afraid you'd have to run around a tree all day long, just in order to stay behind it. And sometimes being behind something doesn't do you any good at all. So you see, if I'd meant you any harm, you probably would have been harmed by now. Maybe so, but I wish you'd quit moving around so much. It makes me nervous. As you <sighs> wish. Now, far from meaning you any harm, I am most grateful for your assistance. I guess I just never quite learned how to get out of aluminum cans. I trust you won't tell anyone it's a little bit embarrassing. But now then, if there is anything I may do for you in exchange for your kindness. You mean like three wishes? Well, let's not get greedy. I mean, perhaps we might start with one. Well, right now I wish I didn't feel like such a jerk. Ooh, sounds like you have a problem. I guess so. <laughs> Follow me. Just step right into my office. Office? And close the door behind you, please. Now, first things first, there are forms to be filled out. Uh, when was the last time you saw a wizard? Never. My goodness. You should see one at least every six months for a checkup. Well, anyway, uh, what is your name? Billy Parker. Age? Thirteen, almost. Do you have insurance? I'm not sure. Mm. Are you allergic to magic? I don't know. Uh-huh. I see. Well, why don't you just tell me what happened? Well, I was with some friends, and they started smoking. Mm. I hate cigarettes, but I tried one anyway. And then I started to choke, and they all laughed at me. I see. Well, why don't you hop right up here and we'll have a look. Look at what? I want to examine your thinking. Now tell me, why couldn't you just tell the others that you didn't want to smoke? They might think I'm a wimp or something. Aha! I think I found it. You have a problem with your nose. My nose? Yes, and are you ever in luck? I am? Yes, you are, for I am not just your ordinary run-of-the-mill wizard. I am the wizard uh, of uh, no. No? No what? No anything. Why, it's one of the most powerful things there is. I majored in it. Oh, there are no's all around us, all the time protecting us. Here, take a look for yourself. <laughs> I guess there are a lot of helpful no's, but there are other kinds too. Like when I want something and my mother says no. Or when I want to share something my big brother has and he says no. I don't see what's so great about no's. They can make me feel kind of crummy. Hmm. Well, I guess it all depends how you look at it. And I can see you're still confused about no. I think we should take a look at a few x-rays. Come on. Hmm. Just as I thought. You see, no can either be positive or negative, good or bad, depending on whether it's a helpful no or a selfish no. You mean like when my mother's trying to protect me? Or when my big brother's being stingy? Exactly. Now, the no I'm talking about is the helpful kind. Those no's are really yeses. They are? Yes, indeed. Those are the no's that help you to get to where you want to be. Have you ever played pin the tail on the donkey? Sure. Well, imagine you were blindfolded and on your way to find the donkey. Now imagine that every time you started going the wrong way, your friends yelled no. Eventually, those no's would help you find your way to yes. That makes sense, I guess. But I'm still not sure what it has to do with cigarettes. Everything. Why, everyone needs to know how to support themselves with no, so they can get to where they want to go without doing what doesn't feel right for them. Fat lot of good my little nose gonna do. Oh, size has nothing to do with it. Why, no's have a power all their own when they're supported by what's true for you. Why, one little no changed the whole world once. Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. Here, take a look. Long ago, 
everyone believed that the world was flat, except for a man named Christopher Columbus, who believed that it was round. When everyone told him, you must stay here, if you sail very far, you'll fall off the edge, he said no, and sailed off to prove he was right. So you see, one little no can really change the world. History is full of stories like that. Well, that's nice, I guess. But I'm still not sure what it has to do with me. Everything. Why, all of us, just like Columbus, are surrounded all the time by people telling us what we should think and what we should do and what we should believe. Why, take a look at some of these ads. And you tell me what you think they want you to believe you'll be if you smoke this brand of cigarette. Strong and handsome. A beautiful lady. You'll never be alone. Stuff like that. I think you're beginning to get the picture. You can see how they want to make you believe that those things are true, so that you'll react. And go out and buy their brand of cigarettes. Now what I'd like you to do for me is to separate these cigarettes. I'd like you to separate the big strong cigarettes from the beautiful lady cigarettes, from the high adventure cigarettes, from the you'll never be lonely again cigarettes. But they're just cigarettes. Exactly. And how is it, do you suppose, that so many people, young and old alike, come to believe that they're more than that? Gee, I don't know. Well, perhaps we should take a closer look at some of these advertisements. Cigarettes are nothing more than dried up tobacco leaves which are set on fire. And then you breathe the smoke. It's been shown that it's very bad for your health, but a lot of people do it anyway. You see, there are people who own tobacco and make a lot of money selling it. They hire other people to make advertisements to encourage more people to buy their cigarettes. They create pictures that make you think that big, strong men smoke. And beautiful, liberated women smoke. And try to make you believe that cigarettes have something to do with being popular and successful. All this has very little to do with burning a leaf and inhaling the smoke, which is where all this started. You mean somebody's getting rich from other people getting sick? I'm afraid it happens all the time. And even if you don't feel sick, there's always the disappointment when you find out that smoking a certain brand of cigarette doesn't make you a winner or more beautiful or more popular. Come to think of it, a lot of ads say things like that. Like ads for beer and whiskey and things like that. Hmm. You are getting the picture. You can see how they try to make you believe things that just aren't true. And it's the same with grown-ups. Why? Many of them smoke and they know better. Yeah, I know. My mom's always trying to quit, but she never does. Well, it's a lot easier to never start than to try to quit. That's where no comes in handy. But if I say no, my friends might think I don't like them, or they may not like me. Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? Two very important words. Thank and you, as in no thank you. No thank you. Absolutely, that makes all the difference in the world. Why, it shows your friends that you appreciate their friendship, but not their smoke. And it's just as true for drugs and alcohol and many other things. Well, it's still easier for you to say. Hmm. Aha! Just what I thought. Low self-esteem. Low what? Self-esteem. It means how you feel about yourself. You mean when I feel like a stupid jerk? Exactly. That's low self-esteem. And when you feel stupid, you're more likely to do stupid things. Whereas when you feel smart, you're more likely to do smart things. But how am I supposed to feel smart when I feel stupid? That's a very good question. And the answer lies is in beginning to protect yourself with no. Right here, right now. Imagine you were a steam-powered locomotive and you were trying to get to the land of yes, where you would feel very good about yourself. But to get there, you had to cross deep valleys filled with smoking cigarettes, as well as beer and alcohol and drugs of all kinds. Every time you say no thanks to things that stand in your way, you become a little stronger. 
you feel a little better about yourself. And when you finally approach how you'd like to be, you'll discover that you already are. Maybe so, but I wish I could be sure that my friends will still like me, even if I don't do what they do. Well, if you're rejected for being who you really are, maybe those really aren't your friends. Sticking up for yourself isn't always easy, but there's one thing you can be sure of, and that is, it's always worth it. Well, I think that about does it. I think you're ready for a little test. Test? Care for a smoke? No. 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 Like a drink? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. How about some really good dope? Hmm? No, thanks. Not for me. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I just got these pills. No, would... thanks. I'm not interested. That was very good. I think you've got the hang of it. How did it feel? It felt pretty good, but... But, but what? What's the matter? Here comes Steve and everybody. What are they going to say when they see all this stuff? What stuff? What are they going to think when they see me talking to a wizard? What wizard? Where'd you go? Are you in here? No, not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm free. And so are you, as long as you remember to protect yourself with no. But what am I going to do without your magic? You're the one with the magic, Billy. You're the one with the power of no. Use it well. Use it wisely. Trust yourself. See what happens. I thought you had an appointment or something. Well, it sort of got canceled. I mean, I thought there was something wrong with me, but I just found out there isn't. Care for another cigarette, my man? No, thanks. Ah, uh, come on. I said no, thank you. Anybody want to go play baseball? Yeah! yeah. I'll race you! Yeah. 